Hey everybody, welcome to the May 2022 episode of the Disc Only Podcast. Welcome one and all to the Disc Only Podcast, the podcast that asks all the hard-hitting questions like, why is there a head above my head currently? Uh, I'm your main host, Proton John. I'm Tom Fox, and there is also a head above my head, but it is the same head that John was talking about. But there is only one total head. Uh, I'm Stephen George, and I only just now understood what Tom was talking about. (laughs) (laughs) But you got what I meant, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm headless. Well, I mean, I have a head. Well, but you like, have no a head, head you're bodiless. My... That's the difference. Yeah, I don't got no extra head above my head. You don't have that MC head. No. And, uh, and I'm Jared, and I wish the MC's head was above my head. All right, well, I can make that happen. <laughs> no, you're just going to scroll it over. <laughs> it just, like, multiplies. There's going to be two, three, four. Ah! Just... <laughs> really wants prosthetic foreheads. <laughs> ah! There he goes. There he goes. Whee! But who is this tiny floating head? Hi, I'm MC. I'm the floating head of, of Christmas past. <laughs> oh. And apparently Ravio. Yeah. No, I, 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 I've been Ravio since I saw Ravio on my, on my uh, 3DS for the first time. And I was like, yep, that's me. <laughs> it's me. I'm Ravio. <laughs> yeah, it's like, cool character, Nintendo. I'm taking it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Original character of, of Nintendo, do not steal. No, it's mine now! Mine! <laughs> mine! <laughs> uh, that, and uh, I would just be like, okay, you can have him, because I would not want to cross MC. He's, he's, he's too good. <laughs> well, he's three, gone. I got three fingers, Jared. That's how many I lost crossing MC over, over Ravio possession. Bro, he's slowly sliding to the right. <laughs> Oh, goodbye. <laughs> Where am I going, John? I don't want to go. I've got some Joy-Con drift, MC. I'm sorry. You'll come back eventually. Don't worry. Yeah. It's just drifting away. I want to be. It was, man, that was like very slowly. I only noticed it because like, like there was a little tiny bit of white behind it and it slowly like flickered as it disappeared pixel by pixel. rotating more too? <laughs> just in space. And for all of our audio only listeners, uh, yeah. this is hilarious. Um, <laughs> we got a, tiny, we got a tiny, uh, tiny MC head on the screen, and for some reason, it is floating away. <laughs> so you gotta that's my consciousness during every every Coliseum event. That, that's kind of what I feel like. I, I, I start the event with like, "Hey, I love Coliseum. I'm so here for this." And by day three or four, I'm just like, "All right, guys, time to wrap this one up. I'll see you in a year." <laughs> <laughs> no dead open inside. Man. Uh. This morning on uh, Breakfast Stream, uh, folks were reminding me about Disc Only, and I was like, yeah, Disc Only's tonight. And they're like, isn't there a guest? And I was like, yes, there's a guest. And they're like, who's the guest? And I'm like, I can't tell you. It's a secret. <laughs> and someone had said, I bet I bet you're going to have, like, God on. And I was like, <laughs> yep, we're going to have God. God's going to be on the show. And everyone's like, ah, it's funny. And ah, he's I bigger. Was serious. I was serious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody was trying to figure it out too, because like I, I um, I kind of gave away. Oh yeah, we're gonna have a guest, and then I was like, oh frick, everybody's gonna try to guess who it is, and like it was just like a hundred different people. But ironically, nobody got him. Here's the thing: is- <laughs> we said out loud that MC was going to be on the podcast. I know that's the best part. Wait, when did you say that? Was it before you told me? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it was the exact time we told you because we said oh, okay. in on stream because uh, you said something along the lines like, I would love to be on a part. And it's like, oh, man, we should have MC yeah. a part or Dan said it specifically. And we we're like, uh, let's make that happen. And we said this live on cast and no one seemed to remember it except then, for uh, us. Later on, I then put it in the wrong freaking Discord saying, hey, we should have MC on cast. <laughs> I put it into the uh, the TRG Discord instead of the disc-only Discord, and everybody was like, yeah, that's a great idea. And I'm like, ah, frick, you're not part of disc-only. <laughs> Oops. It's fine. You had a, little, you had a little, little, little brain rot there. 
Listen, man, if, if like that's the if that's the least of my mistakes, I'm OK with that or the, the biggest well, of my mistakes. I'm happy and honored to be here uh, at long last. And I can my head is clear, unlike during Coliseum, usually during Coliseum <laughs> when I'm brought onto a segment, even if I was planned to be on the segment, my brain is probably about 60 percent in the in the entertainment, but still 40 percent in. Oh, God, the stream is going to crash the second I step one foot away from this computer. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. You you uh, were you were pretty cognizant during "Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes." I had to be. There was a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> it was going to explode. He's got a point. <laughs> that is true. Ironically Damn that enough, Lord Donator. <laughs> ironically <laughs> enough, you were there for the first disc only, Sp like technically, if that makes sense. Because, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I mean, you were there whenever we were all doing it. So, yeah. <laughs> when mean, it wasn't the like, disc only podcast, it was just it? a disc. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it went oh, yeah, from the yo, four of right. us I did to like, crash it. Yeah, it went from like the four of us to like almost the entire group joined in. That's right. Wait, uh, was that on the was that on the first one? That, yes. Before it became disc only. That oh, was when right. we were actually using the Game Boy Player disc. Yeah. yeah. Was I involved in this, this because I have no yes. 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 Like that, there was like a hidden game on the disc only disc. Or, yeah, oh, Steve, sorry, Steve, you were player. like you were you were probably like the most excited out of everybody because I remember it opening up and you being like, "John, we made it. We're at the land of milk and honey." And then I was just sitting that there like, "That definitely sounds like me." <laughs> <laughs> Where's the game? I'm wondering where the game is. There's no game. I think this is also the year after, uh. Cause, cause you would, cause you would, the guys had done, um, what was it called? Uh, GameCube for Extra Life that year, right? And then that was, that was the year that, that everything, uh, shit the bed, right? No, that was, uh, the year was it 2018? prior, if not two years prior. Because, um, I was back in the other house before that happened, and we moved into this house when the second Coliseum happened. So Coliseum, 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 yeah, it was when uh, when the actual disc only podcast thing happened. Twenty eighteen was when my computer exploded. Right, and that was yeah. probably right before disc only because I believe it was right at the end of the uh, the Mary Kate and Ashley segment. Yeah, twenty eighteen yeah. the computer <laughs> crashed. Twenty twenty is officially when disc only first happened. Your computer exploded as well, Stephen. Yeah, I mean, it did just, you see? Did it spit it, fire? <laughs> there was a large spark that was. Uh, emitted from the case, and the mm, computer but no shut fire. down, and the charity event was over. <laughs> <laughs> and it was right Man. after we had raided our community, also raided busted, and started it, a fire. It, it also busted oh, some rhymes. You, you, you literally, just way too many viewers. Uh, <laughs> that just literally exploded yeah, your computer. Was, it was infinite it was a money. Wild. Yeah, we there was a time going. in like very early Twitch chat, like when. Twitch chat could lag your computer. Like I'm talking like 20, 2011, 2012, very early Twitch. Mm -hmm. and, and and I remember like, so we had some Zeldathon viewers who, you know, they'd watch for you know hours and hours upon hours and, and people saying that their, their, their Chrome had just given up because they'd been watching Zeldathon long enough that the Twitch chat just oh, filled up their <laughs> entire RAM. <laughs> That's wild. I, now they now they I, cut it off after a certain point. And you can't scroll that far up anymore. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's a very good addition. I I was technically on Twitch in 2012, but only to do Extra Life, and I don't remember having any problems. But I also did not remember the thing that we just talked about, so <laughs> I probably just don't remember in general. I found a uh, one of my oldest uh, highlights on Twitch was a. Uh, I was playing uh, Nintendo Land, specifically the uh, the F Zero bit, and I was just like singing along with uh, with Big Blue. And the only problem was uh, I didn't have uh, a zero delay capture card at the time, <laughs> so it was uh, it was all off. It was all entirely off. I would sing. I would I would be singing ahead of where the game actually was, and it was uh, not good. Uh, yeah, like, like like Discord uh, karaoke night, aka the worst idea you can ever do. Oh yeah. Except, well, except this was like in in a in a measurement of like seconds. Oh, <laughs> so um, do y'all remember Twitch Sings? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. So so, <laughs> I I tried to do that for a stream one day, 
but for some reason there was always an audio delay no matter what I did. So I just did the entire stream that day with an audio delay and it was like actually way better that way because it was funny as frick. <laughs> I was like off beat. <laughs> uh, I, I do miss Twitch things though. Like my uh, Holmick used to do that a lot and did duos with a lot or duets with duos, duets. There we go. With a lot of uh, different creators. It was really cool. We oh, only ever got to do Twitch things one time. Well, I guess it was two different streams on two different days, but we had, uh, when we had everyone in town for Extra Life, after the event was over, we tried Twitch things, and it was great. I I was so excited about it, and then, like, a month later, it was dead. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I mean, it, it's basically just, like, online rock band, dude. That that crap is freaking aw- was awesome. The thing I never got about is, like, how was Twitch making their money back? If at all, uh, they probably weren't. <laughs> yeah, they like, probably were waiting for there to be enough <laughs> enough people that like there was probably waiting for like the more slightly high profile streamers to start getting into it a lot more to it for it to like become profitable. But I think Twitch Sings was most popular with like streamers in like the like less than fifty viewer range, where it was kind of not as profitable for them. People who were just affiliates or or you know on the Uh-oh. edge of partner. Yeah, less than fifty viewers, not less than fifty year old, like no, under no, no, fifty, no. under <laughs> fifty viewers. I, was, yeah. it was always I mean, I think it was, it was, it was also the... less than fifty year olds. Um, I just, I was like, that's such a strange metric, but okay. <laughs> I do want Grandma Twitch Sing stream. That sounds great. I want Twitch Sing's come back just for that. <laughs> Twitch Sing's Grandma. <laughs> Hmm. That I mean that that was that was me. I, I I actually opened up Twitch things and I was like, all right, let's see all the beautiful classic rock I can sing here, and was painfully disappointed and closed the program. Do you have have y'all went? Well, I know okay, I know John has because I've done it with him. But have y'all yeah. done karaoke often in the past? Is that something that you enjoy? Whether like the yeah. stage karaoke in front of a crowd or like a private room? Private room, but yeah, we've done. I've done I, crowd a couple times. No, I hate karaoke. Ironically, um, I sing on cast, but I do not like karaoke. Really, really, yeah. Weird. It's very strange. Oh. It, it's it's like um, like whenever I'm on cast, it's like it's my show because I can do whatever I want to. But like uh, at karaoke, I just feel awkward. <laughs> I was I was being facetious because of how often I just break out into song anyway. And like, I figured the, that's what you were doing. How, how yeah, I, I was, I was, I that was my next question. I was like, Tom, there's no way. <laughs> I know <laughs> that can't yeah, but be then, true. Well, but then Jared was like, I actually don't like karaoke. And I'm like, oh, shoot. I, pr- I should probably pull out of the ghost <laughs> dive that I'm in. <laughs> abort, abort. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Actually, I think on d- day one of Coliseum, or day, day zero, I guess, of this latest Coliseum, I was playing a lot of music on my computer while setting up. And Tom, I think you won the award for most times that you came into the room singing the song tim got a close second at least but you yeah, were no, definitely number one I, I, I like every time i'd walk by there and there was something i knew that was on there i'd be i'd be belting along with it i I'm okay I, I adore it i grew up going to um and I, this probably just seems weird but like there were summers where me and my family would just go to places where karaoke was happening not to participate but just to watch because it's just a fascinating thing, especially when people are like completely wasted. Uh, it's just very mm. entertaining. I was like 11, and it was like super exciting for me. I was like, "Oh yay, that person's super drunk!" Um, but doing <laughs> the private stuff, I love that. We we did a bunch of that in Japan, and uh, there are some places like that in the states. I know that Round One has rooms yeah. for private karaoke, and that's great. We used to have a huge group, and we would go down to uh, there was a just a, a karaoke bar in the middle of downtown Calgary. Like it was just like there's just a door. You just had to know that door led upstairs to a karaoke bar because otherwise it led to a restaurant. And it was a cool place. Like they had private rooms, but they also straight up had like here's just a giant open area. People can just like start songs and just sing whatever they want. So we would oh, yeah. go there and watch, and sometimes we would just take part. Uh, what is your favorite song to do at karaoke, and what is the worst song you've done at karaoke? <laughs> I'd, like okay. to pr- I'd like to state that also that uh, there was a uh, there, w- there was a bug in my room, so I had to take so, that down. I was, I, was gonna, I was wondering if, if you were if you were attacking. 
So can I can I start this one? Because I only have a worst story. All right. <laughs> is this, wait, is this related to why you don't like karaoke? <laughs> yes, exactly. Okay. This is why I don't like karaoke. Uh, I was at a wedding um, whenever I was a young, like a young lad, like 13, 14. And uh, they had a karaoke thing. And my, I can't remember. It was either me or my brother. We wanted to sing Who Let the Dogs Out. And we thought that it was just the chorus. And like, you know, cause we were younger, we didn't know that that song actually had a frick ton of extra lyrics, which you couldn't understand. So we were just standing there very awkwardly, not knowing, cause like it was going so fast on the screen. Cause there's like a lot of really fast parts. That's why I hate that song actually, because of this one moment in my life where I'm just like, uh, we didn't know that this song was 95% fast lyrics. And then just who let the dog sound for the chorus. <laughs> so, that is probably the reason why I don't like doing karaoke, but I'll sing on stream. No problem. Only if I know the song that is, you know, but yeah, that's a <laughs> the chat. says that's the joy of karaoke. Not for me. Whenever I was a young lad. <laughs> that's oh. a, yeah. But you know, when, when you're at that age where everything is just like trying to prove yourself and you completely yep. humiliate yourself, then that's going to leave a lasting impression. Oh yeah. That that's one of the main reasons why I don't like it. But uh, I bet like if, if Erica wanted to do like, one of those uh, like private rooms at like a round one or something like that. I'd absolutely do it with her. Cause I think that'd be a blast. And me, I'm coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 100%. Um, I'm, I'm, in the, I'm in the trunk. Let me, uh, let's go to karaoke. And, uh, Erica, this is a beautiful night at karaoke. Just you and me and MC. And MC. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you're 100% invited. Absolutely. Yes. I, I wasn't asking. Um, uh, <laughs> no, I, 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 I agree with you, though, Tom, or, 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 or I think it was actually Jared, uh, where essentially I think my, my favorite memories of karaoke, because uh, I also have done a lot of round one karaoke rooms, is when I go in and I do know the song and I know every lyric uh, to it. Uh, you know, I, I've had a lot of success with CCR. I, I'm a huge fan of that. Uh, but... Um, then there's moments where I'm like, oh, I love this song. Turns out I love the chorus of the song. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I have that, exactly, yeah. you, you know when you have that painful realization when you're, when you're like, oh, uh, I, I, uh, I, don't, I don't know about that. Uh, <laughs> See, uh, we didn't start the fire is a great example where you oh, know yeah. like some oh of the lyrics you, you know some of the items in we started we didn't start the fire but other times you're like uh, but, uh, but, uh, uh, we didn't start the fire joe, <laughs> joe dimaggio i really love the song hook by blues traveler and i cannot do that at karaoke but i will try <laughs> which one is that <laughs> yeah Hook is the one that it's a song about the fact that people aren't paying attention to the lyrics of a song and you can just say whatever. But there's a part at the end that is extremely fast and it's very difficult. <laughs> you know, all this talk about karaoke reminds me of, I think, it, I don't know if it was uh, Guitar Hero 5 or which one it was, but the song Fame was on it and there was an achievement where you had to say or sing all 24 lines of the fame whenever it's like bah, bah, bah. you had to go all the way down and hit <laughs> all 24 perfect in order to get oh. that achievement oh and my that, god that is one of the dumbest achievements in any video game i've ever seen <laughs> ready ready to have a complex about this thing that you couldn't get Oh god! Oh my god! If you're if you're like one of those people who hunts for like achievement score and th that score is just sitting at like you know, 19 out of 20 achievements unlocked. And it's and it's the, the, just out of that fame thing. And it's like, <laughs> <laughs> You're just looking at it this far away. I, uh, my best is also my worst, but it's two different instances. Um, Cause it was- I, 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 I hope the, be the best comes second. Like you had a bad, bad <laughs> yeah, no, first that, time. No, no, no. <laughs> it was 500 miles by the Proclaimers. Mm. Good song. Oh. Uh, I'm trying to think. There was a I, I well I the first time I sing I like it was the same problem you had where it's like I know the chorus well, but I don't know the rest of the lyrics well, so had to uh, botched it on the first try, and I think it was like at a Twitch party at a pack so they had karaoke that I that I did it there and uh, and 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 nailed it absolutely nailed it. The, oh. uh, the, that's a that that's a that one's a good one too for like audience participation because you do the the one da 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 and then the audience goes da 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 da. da, da, da. 
my favorite uh, version of that song. It's not a real version. It's like, you know, a meme is whenever you have half the beats of that song missing because it's, it's <laughs> really, it's oh really God. funny to try to sing along. Cause it's like, and I five hundred, and it's really <laughs> freaking funny. Like I, I love those songs where it's every other beat missing. Have you heard that with smooth criminal? <laughs> I've heard it with everything, Tom. Oh, the smooth Everybody used so to say, annoying. Okay, Dennis. Okay. <laughs> I think I think my absolute favorite one is Mortal Kombat's theme because it's like right scorp loop. <laughs> <laughs> that, crap, that crap is so funny. Like we had a scorp meme for a while just because it's so perfect with the scorp and it just ends. Like <laughs> that's all you get to hear. You've been. Well, would you mind if I share one? one. <laughs> Would you mind if I share one more karaoke story that I I, I just remembered that is Go very important? Please. Heck yeah. Uh, I, it was at TwitchCon, I think, where we had a, a group of, like, uh, Zelda Thon and related group friends. We all went out to uh, karaoke together, and luckily we got a room, um, but they were like, ah, bad news, the AC is broken in there. And we're like, oh, well, that sucks because it's an extremely hot day, and this is an, an enclosed room with a bunch of people sweating and yelling and saying um and so like well here's what we're gonna do we'll, we'll open the door for you um and we'll put a fan in there and we'll give you like like uh, unlimited free ice water and we're like whatever we just want to sing some songs but it turns out because we have a microphone with a loudspeaker system and an open door we basically were able to speak to the surrounding arcade machines uh, <laughs> very easily and so Leave it to folks like Jiggy and my good friend Scott, where uh, whenever there was a, you know, a musical interlude in the middle of the song, they would just go, and this is your reminder that you can use Twitch Prime for free subscription right now. <laughs> like, in the, uh, every freaking instrumental break was a Twitch Prime reminder, and uh, we definitely got some looks. And, you know, there was a, usually I would be like, oh, my God, my, my social anxiety. But there was something about that exact encounter that I was like, I'm okay with this debauchery today. Uh, it was fun. <laughs> Every now and then you just got to let the Twitch Prime flow, you know? That's so true. <laughs> my, I think my absolutely, like, my favorite karaoke moment was when I had done karaoke with John and, and Tim and Emil, and very specifically, um, Emil singing Killing in the Name yeah. by Rage Against oh, the Machine. Yep. Yeah. That was a good one. Just really good because we were doing a bunch of songs, and Emil Emil doesn't know like a ton of songs. He knows a lot of video game music, but not a lot of uh, music otherwise. And I started killing in the name, and I was like, "Don't worry, you can come in at the end. You'll be fine. I promise you'll get it." And he did a great job. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the freak you? I won't do what you tell me part. Yeah, that yeah, part. I think John has oh. a clip of that on Twitter oh, heck somewhere. Yeah. That's I, I put that on Twitter. I think you have it on the vlog. There's a couple separate recordings of it. It's real good. It's real, real good. That was a good time. I have to, I, I, I have to laugh. Everyone's talking about it, like all these times that they went and couldn't remember the lyrics to a song or they only remember the chorus. I have that story, but with four of us on stage. So we went to a <laughs> oh, we no. went to a bar and we were like, oh, they're doing karaoke night. Let's have a good time. Like uh, a bunch of us were like really good singers in in bands, so we would go up and just sing. And then, uh, like, we a bunch of us were obsessed with '90s boy bands. So one of us was like, hey. Do you remember that song "When the Lights Go Out" by Five? You know, seminal '90s boy band group Five. Uh, we're like, yeah, no, I remember. We love the chorus, like, you know, when the lights go out, da na 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 na. Like, we're like, yeah, we can figure it out from that. Let's go yeah, up, and sing yeah. up. Four of us go up. The, the the song starts with that bit, so we're like, we're nailing it. And then we realize simultaneously, all of us don't know any other part of the song. Not even the tune. We're just like, oh, they like fast rap here. Like, oh no, what do we do? So we're just the four of us just like dancing, like mumbling the words. And then when the chorus comes back, when the lights go out, <laughs> just like nailing it. But it's just like super awkward. There's like a bunch of drug people just like, what the fuck are these people doing? <laughs> Have you ever seen the uh, the video of the guy doing a karaoke for uh, for the song Tequila? Oh yeah, no, that's a classic. Yeah. Well, he got on America's Got Talent doing that. Yeah. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. Tequila. <laughs> oh, I, I, every time tequila comes on, you you, you, you got to have the one person who's really good at drawing it out and like standing up slowly and stretching and 
getting prepared, holding up the microphone as close as they can for the tequila. You got you. Like, you can't just stand there. You gotta you gotta make it a whole. Oh yeah, a whole thing. You gotta. The- Dude, the only thing I think of whenever I hear that song is the freaking scene in the Sandlot. Whenever they're all like on the tilt a whirl, <laughs> they're chewing tobacco. It's such a good movie. <laughs> they just start throwing up everywhere. <laughs> That's the only thing I think of, man. Uh, so go, going back to karaoke though, during um, when I went down to visit a a meal to record um Overcooked for TRG, uh, we were consistently putting on uh steven's extra life vods and uh at one point we got to his karaoke revolution streams oh no portion of it (laughs) so for the rest of that trip even in recordings we're just we're just like we're singing um sweet Sweet caroline Caroline with different lyrics yeah (laughs) because of the whole warm thing also, God bless that game for being the only video game where you use both the microphone peripheral and the dance pad peripheral simultaneously. It yep. is fantastic and awful. Thanks, Harmonix. <laughs> God, what a wild, wild game. Um, Emil would just and for- blurt out of nowhere like, I'm so warm, yeah. so damn warm, <laughs> just out of nowhere. Constantly that whole trip. <laughs> In fairness, I was very warm when I sang that. It's true. By the, I also want to mention that if you hear squeaking in the background, it's because I have food and he wants food. Oh. Uh, I have included a a link in the in the in the uh, the live Twitch chat room. Uh, but for those who are listening to this later, go go on May third to my Twitter timeline media section. <laughs> And you will be able to find an at to Proton John, which includes a video of. I mean, the, if, you, if you give me a second, the, the I can play session. it for the video watchers here. It's only twelve oh. seconds. Uh, it contain it contains twelve seconds of uh, my heart will go on. Never mind, uh, I will not be airing it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's karaoke, so. Um, but but yeah, if if you wish to view it, uh, that's how you can do so, and you can hear some of our. You our will Twitch know it by the picture of this person's ass. Buddy, I gave you spaghetti. And also Jiggy there, <laughs> looking like he's trying to do a pog face. <laughs> Jiggy just in the corner being like, oh. <laughs> yeah, he's reading the lyrics. <laughs> it's a good emote. My heart will go on. Dude, one of the things we used to do at that that group open karaoke area was we would try to find whatever songs we could do and sing them William Shatner style. And the one we always did was My Heart Will Go On. We would do, just do it as dramatic <laughs> as possible. <laughs> Near, far, wherever you are, I believe that the heart will go on. Just doing it like that the entire time. <laughs> and on. The only I, I haven't actually heard William Shatner do any of that. I've only heard like the parodies. Oh, like, you that, need, like, so, okay. Like, so everyone knows Rocket Man. Like that's the one that he did that was famous. Cause I think he did it during like a Grammys or an Oscars like award ceremony. But you need to hear his version of Mr. Tambourine Man. It is <laughs> absolutely incredible. So there was there was a point where I just got obsessed with William Shatner's music career because he has a bunch of albums, including one that he did with Ben Folds. And that album has been is actually really good. But back in is amazing. Yeah, it's such a good album. But uh, back in like the 70s, 60s, whenever it was, he did a bunch like he covered a bunch of songs and he did a cover of Mr. Tambourine Man. And it is a slow descent into madness. Like. (laughs) He's like he has like these these singers like it's like the whole instrumentation instrumentation group from Star Trek so like the instruments the the everything sounds like it is from the show, and then like he has the chorus singing along too so they go hey Mr Tambourine Man play a song for me and then he'll come in I'm not sleepy and there is no place I'm going to and he'll just <laughs> keep talking like this but by the end of the by the end of the song he's just going like Mr Tambourine Man Mr tambourine man mr tambourine man he's like he, he ends the song by screaming mr tambourine man it is incredible someone did a music video like an amv to go along with it of like just shatner in star trek acting insane but the song is so you have to hear the song it's incredible man all i'm hearing is we need to do call cm karaoke but like we can't do it on twitch so like we need to like uh, people need to subscribe to like the Coliseum Gold membership to see it or something. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do it at a live venue. Oh my god! 
oh, oh, that, that. the logistics just uh, melted me a little bit but sure let's do it <laughs> you can figure it out yeah we'll just and find the stage that's not being used and tell everybody to meet us there in five minutes <laughs> man now i got common people stuck in my head thanks john it's a good song uh, uh speaking of conventions uh mc are you doing momocon this year Yes. Okay. I, 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 you you put me on the spot for a second. I was like, Oh God, did we announce that? Yeah. 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 Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Zelda, 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 no. No. Zelda, Zelda Thon's gonna be there, and we we have a stage, so we're gonna be doing uh Oh, some wonderful! Stuff uh, uh, during it. Yeah. Isn't that like Piece of Heart or Side Quest? I can't remember what it was called. P Piece of Heart. Yeah. That, that's okay, what it, cool. that's what's called. Wonderful. Yeah. We're we're gonna be we're gonna be at Momocon too. So I wanted to ask. Oh yeah. I might I might give you a. a, a a, I, a direct I, message at a later point. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, last time I freaking did that, Erica got to hit me in the face with a pie. So I might need to get my revenge. Oh, to get her. So back. get hit in the face with a cake instead. Th that's the exact opposite of what I was meaning. But you know, okay. Oh, okay. We'll, we'll okay, go and see in the face of the cake. <laughs> now it's a hammer. So oh, going up in scale and violence. <laughs> Can it be like a squeaky hammer? <laughs> like, like I mean, a toy? sure, sure. <laughs> yeah, like, we'll, the, uh, we'll like, like um, like in Kirby for uh, Forgotten Land with the the upgraded hammer. That's just the the toy hammer. Dude, dude, that's so adorable, man. That game is so good. It is really good. I'll which, get, which I'll get to enjoy it someday. Which mouthful mode is your favorite? I like the water one. I, I haven't been playing, but I've watched a lot of people, and the water one always makes me laugh. The, the lid. cone bow. I love cone bow. The lid. <laughs> the, the, the dome, the dome one. The you can, the one because the when you're off it, you can make you can pretend that he's a turtle and he can't get back on his feet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Uh. I think my favorite one is the vending machine because you just get to like <laughs> just bleh, like freaking sodas at people. <laughs> like, that's so funny. That's true. That does play into my brand with uh with the Hitman Canaman stuff. <laughs> the 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 cone bow the uh cone bee as it were is really good. I, I like cone bee. What was that the... was my favorite one to play is the uh, traffic cone, but so... my overall favorite is the uh, <laughs> the vending machine. So uh, I had an idea uh, to do something at a convention. I wanted to keep it under wraps, but I don't think I'm going to be going to a con for a long time. So if anybody else wants to do this while Kirby is still fresh, then by all means, go for it. A pink morph suit. <laughs> You put you put mm. eyes like over where the where the head opening is, and then you either wear red shoes or you make like like tiny like foam rubber red shoes and like stick them like like uh, on like the backs of your ankles or like on your butt or something like that. Dude. And there you go, mouth mouth mouthful mode human, bro. If if oh. I see somebody do that at Momocon, I will send you a DM mm. instantly. Like I'll just take message. a picture and be like, this is this is all Tom right here. Holy frick. Kirby well, right, the the yeah. idea I was having with it too, if you want uh, for the photo op ideas as well, um, because Kirby essentially just takes control of whatever of whatever he's got the, his mouth full over. Your like your face is exposed because it's like a, it's because like a morph suit, like the opening is supposed to be his mouth. Your face <laughs> is like a, a should all like in photos should always be either like panicked or distressed, and your body should not be following that at all. Your body should be like jovial or just waving or giving like a thumbs up or something. <laughs> It's like an existential crisis. <laughs> oh, no. I made the mistake of trying to do a Google search for mouthful mode, and I'm glad that no. A, I have same search <laughs> on, and B, that I'm not showing it on stream right now. I I made I made one tweet. Okay, actually, all right, I'm going to the, the behind the scenes, the, 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 the veil is coming back here on the disc only podcast. I, I was I was in my office with my with my uh, my one ruby to have uh, here and uh, they were at my computer and I had Twitter open and, and they were like, I'm going to make a tweet. And I'm like, do it. Uh, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> Go do for it. it. Make, make, make a tweet on my account. I, and, and you know, they, they still clear with me, but it was, um, Hey gamers, what would you go mouthful mode on? And, uh, <laughs> the, you know, I, I let it sit for a solid 15 minutes before I, I, I looked at the replies enough and I was like, all right, th th thank you roommate for this wonderful tweet. But now this tweet must go. <laughs> so I, it, it's gone now. It doesn't exist anymore. We we, we had we had enough. <laughs> oh Go mouthful God. mode on a cheeseburger. 
I guess it's implied Man. that whatever, whatever, like the the mouthful is kind of going around. That like the body is contorting in a way where you wouldn't actually be able to swallow it. Like you, I, I like to think of it like like a snake, like a snake that's trying not to like better. Yeah, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> so does Kirby have venom or teeth in this case? Venom, venom. Oh god, oh don't god, remind me John. of that. No. <laughs> venom. <laughs> venom. <laughs> venom. <laughs> venom. I can't even venom. remember what the hell Eminem raps during that, but any I watched those movies like two months ago, and I could not get that stupid sound of him saying venom out of my head. Because it's just like <laughs> we, we, he just he's telling me like hmm, venom. <laughs> Constantly. Yeah, like a motorcycle. My friends watched that movie recently, and and like, and I mean, I was about to say for months, but it's still happening. Just occasionally, venom, venom. It's it's so <laughs> much. I'm imagining when you say it like that. I, I my first thought did not go to Eminem because I have no idea what you're talking about. My first thought went to a lizard flicking its tongue, and every time it flicked its tongue, it would go venom. Venom. <laughs> yeah. Venom. So so at the end of the movie, venom. Uh, the the credits roll and just freaking it's a it's a song by Eminem that he wrote for the movie Venom and he's just like was he drunk <laughs> no no there was there's obviously lyrics but like the the main hook for the chorus every time is he goes like hmm, Venom Venom <laughs> So, <laughs> gonna get him, get him, get him, get him. It's like so that. How much of it was sung by by Eminem, and how much was it sung by uh, a, a gear shifted car? <laughs> <laughs> I love the idea of a car doing like, the chorus of a song. Uh, mouthful mode, mouthful, mouth, mouthful mode. Kirby car going venom, venom. <laughs> there, there we go. I think I say mouthful mode. Marshall Mathers, which I'm like, that's a good tongue twister. One <laughs> that I, I, well, I, I can't I talk. Of, I'm I, already, too. I already put mouthful mode human in people's minds. <laughs> so, Tom, in response to your question, I don't know of any. <laughs> I don't know. I, th I think mouthful mode by itself is already pretty disturbing, whether or not it's snake-like or not. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. true. I, like, like you have to, like everybody must have had like a very similar reaction to when that trailer first came out and Kirby ate the car, but he didn't really eat the car. He was just mounted over it like a like like a like a cover, protecting it from rain and protecting <laughs> it from like scratches, and he's just like kind of on it. And for whatever reason, how is he working the gas pedals? <laughs> I, I'll tell you what, like me and Erica, that was a really fun direct. Let me just put that out there. Like, I don't it know was. why that direct was so fun, but like the moment, like, cause I, we saw that Kirby, the new Kirby game. And I love, I love Kirby games, man. And I, we saw the new ones coming. I'm like, oh yeah, freak yeah. And then that moment happened where mouthful mode happened. I, I just, I look over at Erica and we just erupt in laughter we just lose our freaking minds because it was just so ridiculous but in game it's a lot less ridiculous it's actually it makes it super fun it's like you wouldn't think that this would be like a uh you know like okay yeah looking forward to doing this again but it's just in game it's great but that freaking trailer man that had us howling with laughter it was so good it's it's weird because it's like it's it's wholesome body horror. Yeah, I there's know. no other way to describe it. It's wholesome body horror. Uh, and only Kirby could pull that off. See, yep. the, the worst part is, I look at that and I'm like, wait, I thought Kirby could eat anything. Does this imply that Kirby can choke now? Like, what's happening here? So, so well, it shows how do you do the Heimlich on Kirby? He's round. The <laughs> in-game explanation is that the trip to the Forgotten Land did that to him. Yeah, it was like a weird cosmic energy whenever he was transported into that. Like it's it's in the first cutscene, so it's not a you know a big time. It's spoiler not a spoiler, anything. yeah. But yeah, um, Tom, have you have you finished the game? Right, like who yeah. who here has finished it? Other than oh, of course John, because he hasn't. I don't think it. Steven has. I, I've played like uh, three stages of it on stream. That's it. Okay. Like uh, like Tom, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna uh, spoil anything, but dude, like the the end game is so freaking awesome. Yeah. Like yeah. Oh my god, one of my favorite end games from any Kirby game. I I like that you're saying this because I am really close to the end and we're playing more on Friday and I'm excited about it. <laughs> Dude, yo, okay. Um, 
Uh, yeah, I can't. I can't talk about it. Frick. Ah, I, get I don't excited. Want to away. Get, get, get excited. Yes. Excited, Jared, and I believe you. Very excited. Okay. I, it, it is I'm an incredible. John, uh, end, one hundred and ten percent uh, incredible end game. Yep. Uh, John, I, I directed you uh, a, a nice collage of my reactions to mouthful mode. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh for, from from the reaction video i did that though that, that that nintendo direct was honestly a reaction video uh fuel i was very happy with that <laughs> was, was uh was that the um the one where the mario movie was also no no yes. no, 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 no it wasn't <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> so, i like the like the, the head explosion part that's freaking great <laughs> there, there's there there's like so <laughs> in sequence in sequence <laughs> It looks like MC's. It looks like MC's excited that he's about to eat the car. He looks stunned that Kirby is now over the car. <laughs> it's a great image. He looks. <laughs> he, he looks very disturbed by the fact that Kirby is over the car. That this is a, a thing in the game. And, and he's now having he's a just, galaxy brain explosion. He's now he's just done. <laughs> I need to, that, like, that, that's more of like me processing what is what has happened today uh, on on this Nintendo Direct live stream. <laughs> do you do you have a like a video of that? Like, do you have the uh, like the it, it's, recording? It's of all on that? YouTube. Yeah. Oh freak yeah, dude! I'm gonna watch that later because I didn't get a chance to see that. Yeah, because the, <laughs> so the entire much. next the next reveal and the entire reaction is me just being like, Nintendo, we can't just ignore what you just did to Kirby. I, I didn't care anymore. I didn't care what the next announcement was. Someone in chat said this is the Four Horsemen. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it's like, oh, oh, oh. It looked like the stages of grief to me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> We're missing one. Acceptance. Yeah. We never got to acceptance. <laughs> it's just like, yeah. <laughs> I still haven't accepted it. <laughs> <laughs> He's still grieving. You think of uh, Mario got a symbiote, the theme song would just go Venom, Venom, Venom. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus. I hate you. <laughs> Kirby is a symbiote now. He always was. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> this is the incredible picture. <laughs> It's a, it, it, it's like a movie poster called You, Me, and MC. And it's Jared and, and, and Erica with with a very, like, gritting MC in between them with his arms around their shoulders. Oh it's God, a parody man. of You, Me, and Dupree, which was basically, like, Owen Wilson in the exact same situation. <laughs> Wait, I'm, I'm, I'm Owen Wilson? Thank I think you're Owen Wilson in this case. Let me double check. Holy wow. frick. I wow. love that. Wow. 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 Oh. Yep, you are Owen Wilson in this situation. Thank God. I, finally, my dreams are realized. I can quit this podcast. Owen Wilson, <laughs> as, Owen Wilson as MC. There you go. There's the actual poster. In you, me, and MC. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, laugh out loud. Hilarious. The Sun. Kate Hudson and Matt Dillon <laughs> and Michael Douglas. I didn't even know the sun enjoyed movies. <laughs> Look, you gotta do something when you're floating up in space, man. You'll get bored otherwise. Uh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. It, it's it's it, that's the only distance that he can watch like movies in a theater from as well. Because if the sun gets any closer, then it's just gonna be beams of light on the projector, and then they won't be able to see the movie. Close the blinds. <laughs> Focus. Oh God. That freaking oh man that that movie poster freaked me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that was a good one. That's my that's my uh, that's my laughing quota for the day. <laughs> so, so is is the usual flow for this podcast? Get distracted by one little thing. That's the next topic. And yes. Then repeat, oh, yeah. And, yeah. Re repeat until two hours is complete. Pretty uh, much. I, I I do want to take this off on a on a, a tangent here. Well, not even a tangent. I'm just I'm just derailing the whole thing. I was Perhaps playing a sign um, or a cosine. I, I was playing a uh, Xenoblade with uh with Emil. Uh, we were doing. I was doing Future Connected. And I was, I was, uh, I was switching around uh, some characters for like for one of the uh, the uh, unique monsters in it, and uh, I was playing as I was playing as Shulk for that bit, and you know I was I was you know I was just fighting normally. I did a backslash on it, and Emil goes, and Emil goes, yeah, slide it between his cheeks like a credit card. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! What happened to <laughs> I, Chugga I, I think that's actually isn't that a Futurama quote? It's a quote from something. I think so, but like, it was so out of left field for him to say that. It was great. 
I I am <laughs> love and am am sad because it's probably partially my fault and my wife's fault uh, <laughs> that Emil like Emil is actually super dirty, but like he has he's always <laughs> usually done the the squeaky clean persona. And like he's finally kind of like showing it now, and I'm just like, oh man, maybe this was a bad idea now, because <laughs> no one else. Was like, 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 I was he, like, this is your fault, John. This is your fault, Reese. Like, no, no. Even Coliseum One, like Emil was kind of like in person. Like it was, it was my first time really getting to interact with him for an extended period of time beyond like a convention where I got to meet him a couple times. And I was like, yes, this is Chugga Conroy. This is the person that I I I, I I've heard online say, hey, man, um, Splatoon, you know. And I and I was like, this is this this is exactly His what I expected. Famous catchphrase. <laughs> yeah, as you know. And, but, but I gotta tell you, <laughs> by the time now when we were in the the beach house uh, a couple months back. He, he he is a different commentary entirely, <laughs> an entirely different person. And, and this, I don't think for for the worse or for the better. I just think just just different. <laughs> this was the this was the man who hesitated before he said the word bitches. Oh, he still does that. He does that out of habit now. <laughs> <clears throat> Anal bunnies. Yeah. No. We did, so here's the thing. We never prompted him to do any of that. That was all on him. What? Yeah. yeah. Anal Bunnies was one of his Wheel of Fortune guesses during Coliseum oh. at that. God, it's my I fault. Oh my God, comfortable being I, dirty I in public. Like, I, I don't, I don't know if I should uh, bring this up, but it was during the uh, the uh, <laughs> during the, uh, the the I think it was the Mario Sunshine race. I think MC knows exactly what I'm gonna say here, and should stop me if if I shouldn't go any oh, further. Oh, wait, is this one of the dildos? Yes. <laughs> great what? great introduction to a topic i mean it's not We're coliseum not time this, this right is my okay, channel go, We're go, fine. Go so so um emil so like J josh and tyler were having like this back and forth about dildos and like something came up about like direct relief and dildos and emil goes it's amazing how far a direct relief can stretch a dildo and mc is in the background just going <laughs> no no <laughs> <laughs> Actually, my reactions were not too dissimilar from mouthful mode, <laughs> where where I was just in distress because like like sometimes I like I, I don't know like during those type of moments during Coliseum like I don't care too much I don't mind a dirty joke you know you know obviously it's for charity so I prefer we don't uh, destroy the line just you know toe the line carefully. <laughs> However, there are moments like that where on camera or off camera i'm just like oh oh no and that that was that was one of them like uh, if if the if, if we're going to the phrase burning the bridge that was that was a uh, uh tyler and josh playfully pouring gasoline on it and emil lighting matches very close to it <laughs> <laughs> if you give me a minute i think i can find that because i'm pretty sure trainer trevino like clipped yeah all of the yeah. more mature scenes oh yeah there we go trg without context there we go give me a second and i'll find it here on this <laughs> oh it, it, it was such a wonderful moment too because uh just a few times during coliseum i didn't do it that often but you know sometimes I, like the segment was running smoothly enough that i just wanted to go sit on one of those couches and just kind of chill back there and watch the game and so i just you know doodle on my phone or whatever and this is one instance of me just i was just on my phone kind of like checking twitter you know scrolling through responding to messages and yeah. Oh, and no, the best part is like during the segment, there's another part where you you hear something that throws you off. Like here for the for the video listeners, you'll hear this. Audio listeners, I'm playing a clip specifically from Sunshine uh, of Tyler, uh, Josh, and Tom, Emil, and MC's reactions from this. Did give dildos to charity? <laughs> no! Tyler, you're making it worse. I'm sure they'd find a good use for them and stretch out their uses. <laughs> it's amazing how far Director Relief can stretch a dildo. I'm kidding. Yeah. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Oh my god! I'm the scream. <laughs> the visceral scream that comes out of MC's mouth <laughs> when that happens. <laughs> the, the, yeah. those, those, those freaking microphones are like pretty dang good at not picking up like background audio so that's a little bit of a an indicator yeah, you of how sound a lot more my... far away than you actually are you are directly behind me and emil who both had microphones yeah yeah <laughs> <No>! <laughs> that's like a movie quality no like <laughs> oh goodness i mean mc what what goes through your mind when you're minding your own business and all of a sudden 
you know, dildos. I mean, is there like a little like red light in your brain that goes, no, Mm -hmm. no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, I'm listening to to what's being said, and I'm like, and I and I and there there. I don't know. Maybe there's just a, like I have an internal list of things that maybe these words don't lead to good charity <laughs> talking. And dildos <laughs> is one of them. I would say. Uh, Shocking. Not any any good reason to discuss dildos on a charity event? No, uh, there isn't. Especially not directly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like. <sighs> If Pornhub was doing a charity, well, it would be for direct yeah, relief. Well, sure, maybe. it would be for direct yeah, relief. <laughs> I mean, no, they was, they, they are great. both orange. <laughs> both their logos, <laughs> both the logos are orange. <laughs> That's all I got, man. <laughs> oh my uh, god! I, I saw, I saw this video where it's like this this kid was like um on the drums at like a high school assembly or something like that. And uh, he just like he plays he played the uh, like the the Pornhub intro riff, and the caption for it was I got I got, I got expelled from school for this. Anyway, I sincerely hope that um, not too many aneurysms were caused in the past and i hope that there is maybe even an ever decreasing number of aneurysms as we march into the future of the event steven as long as that donation total keeps increasing in size <laughs> I, I knew I, it i will politely look the other way <laughs> <laughs> i knew it it's just like as long as we bring the results we're we're like a loose cannon you hate how we do things but god damn it you get results <laughs> there's a your there's loose there's... cannon charity stream <laughs> There's a there's a bit in How I Met Your Mother, uh, because the whole the whole thing in that oh, sitcom yes, is that is that um the the story is being told to, um, Ted Mosby's children like from like an older Ted Mosby, and because of that he's, he's like he like censors some stuff in it, and one of the things he does is when he's talking about uh <laughs> marijuana, he refers to it as um he refers to it as a sandwich instead. So that that's just what we got to do for the charity. Whatever we want to say like you know dildos, we'll refer to it as something else instead. <laughs> What was that image? <laughs> Sorry. That's from when uh, MC said, check a comrade's famous catchphrase. <laughs> so, uh, the, the, uh, the, image, the image was, uh, <laughs> the image was of, of a meal uh, with the swirl eyes filter put on him over and over again. Uh, I love the swirl filter in Photoshop. Sometimes when I'm on Discord with friends, I'll just be like, hey, what's your, <laughs> give, me a, give me a character that you love so I can utterly destroy them with the the the, the, the bulge and the, the the shrink tools and the swirly whirly <laughs> filter tools on photoshop and they're like they're like no mc i can't do this not again and i'm like uh, uh unless you, you're gonna propose something more interesting for me to do I, like i'm going to destroy a... your favorite character <laughs> it's just a scene out of a soap opera at that point i can't go through this again i'm sorry but here here's a here's a picture of steven universe swirlized <laughs> me and photoshop filters are here oh that, that, that's my what's your hobby photoshop filters <laughs> <laughs> there are worse hobbies to have so seems good to me <laughs> no mc don't swirlize no chat because i use the word bulge in the in the proper instance don't don't do this now <laughs> <laughs> Did you well, stress the audio bulge? The, the audio or listeners now have context for that. Yeah, because the bulge tool within the liquify filter on Photoshop exists, and it, that's what it's called. It's called the bulge. And uh, it's not it's called the you bulge. bulge. Come on. Yeah, it's called the bulge. <laughs> the bulge. It's called the bulge, the bulge tool. It well, is. I'm, I'm opening it up because I'm like, is it called the bulge tool? G- G- called, John Adobe called, on the phone. It is called the bulge John Adobe here. Tool. Can I help you? The the, the what? Steven? It's called the bloat tool. Oh my god, oh no. Bloat <laughs> <laughs> tool. Oh, uh, then uh, you may be using uh, a very inappropriate version of Photoshop. Uh, <laughs> if, if oh, that's yeah, that's for MC's 18 yeah, plus yeah, art like, account. Thank like, you. you know, <laughs> there, was, uh, there, there was Photoshop like CS6, now we're at Photoshop XXX. <laughs> oh no. I'd, li- I'd like to apologize to the Academy for, for my <laughs> I will uninstall Adobe Photoshop immediately. Well, if you, if you I were, was if just, you... <laughs> I, it's, it's not that I didn't believe you, but I was like, 
is there really a tool in Photoshop called bulge tool? And I was like, that's I mean, incorrect. I mean, it's, I mean, it's the like bloat bulge. What's the difference? Safe search on time again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, listen, MC, as long as, you know, as long as your Photoshop isn't open for more than four hours while you're working. My God, Jared. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God. If it makes you feel better, MC, there's a ton of articles that say, like, how do I make something bulge in Photoshop? Yeah, of course, because that that, it means more than one thing, chat. (laughs) You just give it a little pickle. (laughs) Do you know? And, and I went into that. With, 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 I went into into this entire conversation with good faith. <laughs> Do you want to know what the name of the tool opposite of bloat is? Pucker. It is pucker. <laughs> <laughs> you either pucker or you bloat. You, Only on you have there to is no in between. In life. From early on, we all must decide to pucker or bloat. <laughs> I am now in Photoshop right now, just playing with these tools. <laughs> Always. Oh, no, I, need you, I need you to see the one that just came across my. <laughs> no! 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 Uh, associated with this. This is funny to me, but I believe that this may be causing MC extreme panic right now. <laughs> or the oh, steel bouncer. Is- I'm not going to tell you to delete your tweet or anything. However, <laughs> do not tag at direct relief with it, please. My my livelihood may depend on it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, to those of you listening to the audio podcast... No! It didn't happen! It was just a beautiful image of a field. I didn't see anything. Also, I think it's very funny. It was, uh, well, hold on. It was, it was the, it was direct relief. It was direct relief on a, on a mis, on on a miscolored YouTube logo. (laughs) Yeah, that's it. That's what it was. In less, in less than one hour of being on the podcast, MC is already regretting being on the podcast. I've had a great time. Thank you for having me. (laughs) <laughs> Sorry, MC. This is this is the payment everyone. for having to deal with me. No, he's just I like, I like he, this. He, MC's just like bowed his head. He's he, you know he, he did he's done like the cross. He's currently in prayer. <laughs> Water. The, Water. This is the devil you have made a deal with. <laughs> Diet Coke, you'll do. I'm getting out the hard stuff tonight. The water won't do. I need the Diet Coke. (laughs) Whoa, 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 slow down there, champ. (laughs) The hard stuff is Diet Coke. I was was in the kitchen earlier today, and I was like, Mal, I need a strong drink. And Mal starts laughing. She's like, and what is your strong drink? And I was like, don't judge me. And it was Canada Dry. (laughs) Ginger ale. Uh, uh, Yeah, stiff ginger ale. Yeah. Oh, goodness me. God. Uh, that, that makes me think of, like, the, um... There's, like, the, uh, the, uh, subreddit Sappho and her friend. And it's, uh, all of these, like, instances of, like, people being like, Oh, no, they're... Th- these two gentlemen or, or ladies aren't in a relationship. They're just, they're just really good friends. And, like, making fun of the fact that they... That, of, of the, of the sheer denial of that. Important question. Is it just called dry in your country? No, it's still called candy. <laughs> it's still brand new. <laughs> I love that. Oh, I had to explain to someone recently <laughs> that um, Reese's Pieces, or Reese's Cups, rather, we'll do Reese's Cups, are different in Canada because they're just called Reese in Canada. But they are Reese's in the States. Are they? I always thought they were just called Reese's Cups. Here. Mm-mm. No, in Canada, that you don't have the apostrophe S. And in the state, we have the apostrophe S. That is huh. weird. Yep, there you go. It's just called it's just called Reese in uh, Reese peanut butter cups but in if, Canada. Like, if you're talking about them, even in Canada, you know, would you say that I, let's have a Reese or would you say a Reese's cup? Because I assume that you'd say Reese's cup. When I went to Canada, I would say Canada dry wow. ginger ale. I wouldn't say, hey, can I get some dry? You know, <laughs> like, it's just give strange. me some of that dry, please. <laughs> Hold the ice. Some, they come in a three pack in Canada, apparently. Well, uh, what? You can get three packs, but usually they're twos. Three packs? Okay. 
bro. Yeah, I mean, I there's saw, usually four packs. Like, there's two or four. And three. Yeah. yeah. So I saw I saw an image, and it was tweeted by the official Canadian Reese's <laughs> account. And it why was, are you following the official Canadian <laughs> Reese's account? It was why a you? evening, John. <laughs> you don't need to know my search history. I anyway. like they, chocolate, but I like <laughs> seeing what other countries have for chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> John, Dude. I like candy. See, MC, um, they uh, they sell them in the metric units instead of the imperial units. So they sell three instead of a four pack for some reason. But what do they call a quarter pounder with cheese? A royale with cheese. <laughs> uh, it would be like uh, a 500 grammar with cheese, I guess. <laughs> Give me the old grammar. Give me the old grammar. Ro- uh, John is right. It's a royale with cheese. Sorry, I, had, I, 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 I th- thank you for that, that uh, Tom. I, I just had to go back to get another one. <laughs> 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 Crack them open, man. Uh, Crack it open a cold one. With the boys. <laughs> man, uh, hey, slow down, champ. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> what is that? Is that your second Diet Coke th- this evening? I'm so, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm going crazy. Listen, he's hanging out with us. He freaking needs it. All yeah. right, like. <laughs> Can't handle that much aspartame. <laughs> I don't I don't know what the limit of aspartame a human body can take is, but we're going to find out. <laughs> Tonight you <laughs> need it. <laughs> See, he's ingested lethal doses of aspartame. <laughs> oh, frick. Oh, man. Aspartame legal limit. <laughs> I don't think there's a legal limit. I think there's a lethal limit. Oh, uh, <laughs> legal limit? <laughs> lethal, I mean, legal, whatever. We don't know yet. Bulge, but bu- whatever the frick it was. <laughs> bloat, <laughs> bloat, whatever. Bloat. Oh, it's, yeah, it's, we, 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 we got, we got, we we got an aspartame, answer. aspartame bloat. An average human would have to consume about 5,400 cans to approach a lethal dose. In All what right. span of time? That would also Sub have goal. to be done without visiting the bathroom, Sub which goal. seems <laughs> like you would, become, cans of Diet Coke. God. you would become water balloon Kirby. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, the true mouthful in. mode. Dude, you know what's Coke. crazy about uh, the craziest thing about water balloon Kirby is that like he would probably weigh about four or five tons. Because yeah. of like how much water he has, like, you know, that's how strong Kirby is. Like, think of that. It's freaking ridiculous. Why do you think he's the only survivor of World of Light? Because <laughs> he's a boss, that's why. Because he's a literal black hole. Or either that or Sakurai's playing favorites. <laughs> of course. He would never. He absolutely would. He totally would. <laughs> he totally would. <laughs> do you think that Kirby has any internal organs? Um, nah. I'd like I'm, to I'm, think he's that, a walking like... black hole, 100%. He literally has like the eyes, the brain function... And like vocal cords, and then everything else is just a black hole. I would think okay. that an X ray of Kirby <clears throat> is that everything like there there is one bone, and it's just it's just a femur from like the base from his base up to the top of his head. Like that that's Kirby's X ray. <laughs> just one Except bone that hasn't been obeyed at all with mouthful mode. I mean the the, uh, the bone is also <laughs> stretchy, just like he's Kirby. made of cartilage. Oh, there we go. He's made the of bone cartilage. is stretchy. Oh my god, Jared, hate, you say you I, say. I hate saying, the phrase Kirby has one bone. I just don't like that. <laughs> Jared, when you, when, when you said he's made of cartilage, it <laughs> reminded me. One of my friends. Why did that remind you of anything? One of, well, one of my friends, uh, his dog <laughs> was like very like, um, very, very like clumsy. So like he would refer to as Cardelangelo, the floppiest ninja turtle. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Cardelangelo. Uh, That's a good name. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> this is a good question. If you turn Kirby inside out, is everything inside him? If that happened, it would be like another universe. That's that's next gonna game. be like the Bowser's inside story equivalent for Kirby. That's the next game. <laughs> I think that everything Kirby eats is immediately converted into energy. So even if he was turned inside out, nothing would come out of him. Fair. Can I go on the record and say that I've loved Bowser long before Hypercole? Oh, 64? no. Don't start this. <laughs> Don't Wait, start what? this. Well, okay, but he, here's the deal, Proton John. You know how much art I have in my, my Twitter timeline of me attending a why, why I should love Bowser class when... 
I, 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 I'm like, I'm the alum. I'm the professor. At, who attends as all the, the person who's probably events. retweeted all those that you've seen on your feed, five. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. One second, oh, we, oh, you're gonna pull out the numbers? Yeah, you, you want me to? Now? One second, we <laughs> we we have a reply from Hypercall. Oh, we starting this? <laughs> I have no I'm idea just, oh, what this is. I, I, I have no qualm with Hypercall, and I, I'm not saying that it matters who loves Bowser first. I'm just saying that <laughs> it was important. The, the, that the, you the concept are the one. of uh, the concept of MC at a why I should love Bowser class is 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 lore incorrect it's, you should be taking notes an, a, so you can also improve your own presentation obviously oh okay, okay. all right i take back you're at everything. a symposium it's a symposium all right scratch scratch the past five minutes of this podcast Next topic. <laughs> <laughs> there you go that's my job in this podcast making everything redundant wait so well, uh, you know what i'm not even gonna go i'm not even gonna continue it let's <laughs> no i want you to now no you you have no escape Okay, fine. So Cole just said, I'm the winner because I draw suggestive art of Bowser. <laughs> That's, I don't think that makes you the biggest fan of Bowser. I just think you like... I think that makes him a different type of fan. Yeah, it's just... Dra- I have an iPad. You want, me, you, want me to, you want me to? <laughs> <laughs> MC, MC, you're falling. Thanks for the support, Bowser is daddy, as they just subbed, apparently. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that was a gift sub from the Bella Bunny. Listen, uh, listen. Uh, it, it, only if you're using the uh, the bulge tool. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, MC. I think you're actually falling into Cole's trap. He just wants more suggestive Bowser art out there. I think that's all that is. Time to crack you're, you're, open you're, another you're, one, MC. You're right, you're right. Let's go. That's a water bottle. I can't. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Crack it open. A cold one with the Take another sip. <laughs> hey, did you guys know that a... that the 15 pack of Diet Coke has three more cans than the 12 pack? Because every, every single 15 pack of diet coke that i've purchased for the past year has it in bold letters like it's like the most stunning revelation in the world 15 cans three more than 12 cans and i'm, and I'm just like every time i'm like yes consumer <laughs> correct consumer do you have any any idea how many cans we shoved into here <laughs> consume <laughs> are they the same Pepsi? amount is it still 12 ounce cans yes. 12 ounce yeah it's it, 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 it's just th- it's three more cans, but they they, they 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 advertise it as if I don't know. Three I don't know cans. what three more than twelve is. Wait, three more cans, stop, two more than one extra. Did they stop selling the twelve count variant? No, no. So wait, oh, well, hold. There. So is Here, it I'll, the I'll, same I'll, price? At, at, at Stephen George uh, at, at Proton John, so we can get this on on the stream. I, I took a photo of this the other day because I was outraged. <laughs> By by the, the 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 hilarity of this can, it has been sent. Um. <laughs> I, have you guys? Do you guys know about the uh, the the frat boys' dream come true? That is the ninety nine can Paps Blue Ribbon Pack. No. <laughs> I'll pop that in the guest chat as well. Meanwhile, oh, here's here's what MC was talking about. It literally does say on this box: fifteen cans, three more cans than twelve pack. <laughs> yes, I mean, it's been on the same pack for dang, for over a year, and, and I just wonder uh, if this is ever going to go away. I I, I think uh, I think Coca Cola is severely underestimating the mathematical prowess of their uh, of their consumer base. I think that I think they've realized how much aspartame people are taking in, and they're like, okay, we got we at least point this out. Where, where's my fifty four hundred can pack? <laughs> Five thousand three hundred and eighty. Oh you God! Eight co- more of this in a twelve pack. <laughs> Love that. I popped. I popped the ninety nine can uh, Pabs Blue Ribbon one into uh, into uh, guest chat. By the way, just so you all could see that how it's taking two potentially three people to carry out because I'm assuming that the two people on the end, if they were to carry it by themselves, the weight in the middle would just cause it to collapse. Oh my God! <clears throat> why, why? Why am I so outraged? I started this what? podcast so calm and happy. What is? Welcome to Disco Only, my friend. I've just now <laughs> saw the picture that Tom was describing. Here it is. My 56K modem is loading it in right now as we speak. This is... <laughs> what is this? That is that is whatever... That, that's the frat boy's dream come true. A 99 pack of Paps Blue Ribbon. They couldn't make it 100? No. Uh, I think I think it's, uh, it's uh, 33 by 3 in that yeah, box. Yeah, that's exactly what wow. it is. Fair enough. Just put one, just tape it to the side, break it, just go for it. <laughs> Make it an even hundred. I mean, I mean, they should give you one to go for carrying that. <laughs> 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 to keep you hydrated on the way. Buy 99 cans of beer, get one free. 
I wonder how much that costs. Uh, I don't know if it's still for sale. Because I, I think this is like a really old old thing. Let me see. Uh, well, I hope to God it's not uh, still no. for sale. In 20, it, it, as of 2019, it cost 175 Dang. That's like, which, which, <laughs> 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 Uh, that's that's actually crazy. It's like only like a dollar ten or something a can, somewhere yeah. close to that. I'm not I'm not gonna do math. Don't Add judge in me. Recycling <laughs> fee, and that's probably about it. Yeah. Oh, yep. that, that depends on what state you're in. <laughs> stress. <pain. Yeah. laughs> I, was, I was gonna say like like stressed when he beat me to it. <laughs> Denial. Um. <laughs> Grief. Y'all heard about the Tropicana cereal, right? Yes! So, wait, oh my god, I want to wait, try that! Wait, the what? Who? Cereal? Tropicana? Okay. No, this is Steven's story. Well, it, it's a quick one. Tropicana, the folks that make the orange juice, said, what if we made a cereal and you put our other product, the orange juice, into the bowl instead of milk? And so they did. I saw that. Uh, somebody sent that to me on Twitter, and I instantly had heartburn. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a, that is a lot of acid. Wow. Like, I'm just I'm looking at wow. the image and I'm like, oh, oh, oh. What <laughs> in the heck hurting. is this? So, so, that, so, 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 you know tomorrow. what the worst possible? Th you know what the worst possible thing you do with that is? Brush your teeth. <laughs> Why because does the, the cereal box come with a straw? <laughs> You know, oh, to drink or sipping it. straw. Is, it, yeah, is, it, is that paper the toy sipping because straw of the, because inside? Because of the straw and the Tropicana, like inside the orange of the Tropicana bottle. All right. Yeah. So, so honey the, almond crunch a, cereal with orange oh. juice is the liquid. I try it. Honey, I, 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 I don't think I'm, I think I'm, I'm, I'm going to love it, but you know, I try it. Like what? What exactly makes this different for me? Just grabbing a bo box of honey bunches of oats and putting putting a different brand of oh. orange juice in it. Oh, Legality. That's what's the difference. I hate honey bunches of oats so much, dude. Like honey bunches said, of oats. I hate that cereal, dude. As a, I hate it. As a purveyor of cereals and other breakfast goods, I'm planning Amen. on ordering this because you. This is apparently not going to be sold in stores. You have to order it, or you can win it. <laughs> I'm not it comes out tomorrow. Man. Apparently, it says five four twenty two. Yeah, so they're going to drop information about how to get it. So I'm planning on hopefully ordering some and trying it because Mal, uh, I hate you're, myself. You're, you're I what, your know. wife is posting <laughs> in, in your wife is posting the chat saying I think I'm going to love it. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. You guys better check out the Tropicana Direct tomorrow. It's going to be hot. <laughs> hey, listen. <laughs> don't joke. I missed out on the Arby's Fry Vodka. I, I'm, I'm like, sorry. I, I did did any of you get the KFC gaming console slash fryer? I forget if that actually came out. Um, um. <laughs> I know what you're talking about, but no. No, I didn't get that. Damn. Yeah, Arby's put out uh, like a limited run of uh, vodka based on their French fries. The plain French fries and the curly fries. Talk about a debuff. <laughs> I have no idea what he, what he would even go with. Yeah, honestly, you would probably... Um, like, you'd probably just have to like drink that as like a, I don't I don't know what goes into a Bloody Mary, but it'd probably only be good in a Bloody Mary. <laughs> Ew. So like, whenever me and Masay were playing um, Power Wash Simulator, the uh, <laughs> Arby's came up, and I'm like, I can only eat Arby's like every couple of months, like every like three to six months. <laughs> And because it's just it's just kind of like uh, also this is a great freaking tweet oh my god <laughs> uh, but like I, i'm sitting there and i'm like man i can't eat arby's man it's like they give me like i get an arby's debuff whenever i whenever i eat it right arby's like i can debuff. i can only like it's like that with a couple of different places like arby's ihop you get like a debuff freaking uh all types of stuff but i do want to give a shout out to arby's for being awesome and like dropping a grand on a charity stream that i was doing i'm not talking crap i just I really I love y'all's food, but I have to not eat it <laughs> a lot because it'll make me sick. Just because it's like you know ultra fried, but yeah, the, like I, I have respect for Arby's. I just can't eat the food all the time. Phrases the, the, that not many people have ever said. I have respect image. for Arby's. And the I biggest think it's problem on screen. Oh my god! Somebody <laughs> definitely just googled my name and went went to the the wiki page that's outdated <laughs> and downloaded the first of image. With uh, with what what is it? Uh, lick. It, it, it's a picture of MC liquefied to make him look sad, but it's also a very old picture of MC. Oh yeah, the way this is using liquefy tool. <laughs> it's, wait, hold on, we, we've we, I, we've ascended. 
<laughs> so uh, no, this. yeah, He's Arby's like five, but no pucker. Arby's biggest weakness <laughs> is also their ad campaign. They have the meats. <laughs> they do, but do you want them? They, yeah. they give me the meat sweats is what they give me. Is that I the debuff? You, you, you're just sweating. <laughs> yeah, yeah. After eating? <laughs> yes, that's what the debuff is called. The meat. Some sweat. people don't think that's a thing. That is absolutely. That is a thing. absolutely. Oh, yeah. a hundred percent. One hundred percent meat sweats. One hundred percent. You live in the uh, South. You definitely have experienced the meat sweats before. Like you, you get are, like some good brisket or something like that. You just go through it, and it's like, oh, frick me! If you I ain't never down. had the meat sweats. You go to a pig pick, and once you'll leave drenched. That's just how it works. <laughs> I want to take you guys to. Uh, I want to take you guys to a barbecue place. If you're ever in Austin, I, I, I want to take you guys to the Salt Lick. Really good Texas barbecue there. Um, Do they have an actual Salt Lick that I can lick, please? I I don't believe they do, but they do have you an open one. It, it's pretty much like it's pretty much in the middle of uh, of Hill Country. They have like this giant barbecue pit there. It's just like dug out of the ground. It's really cool, and the food there is mm, delicious. The next time oh. I see you, MC, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy you a Salt Lick. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I have a distinct memory of there being actual salt licks in my in my local Walmart and someone daring not me another friend to lick it and they totally did and then I thought about how many other people have probably licked that salt lick that exists within I the have, Walmart and looking back in time I, I have regrets about this. I have scenario. I have two questions about where you grew up. One, were there a lot of horse farmers? And two, how is the deer population? I don't I don't I don't. There's a lot of deer. That's really all Salt Licks are for, are deer and, and horses. I mean, there were a lot of horses and deers. I grew up in the middle of nowhere, Pennsylvania. Um, I, I, I really want to lick a Salt Lick right now. I got to go. Right, see, I have a, I have a question. I have you really a question do or really you. don't? Because it sounded like you were running away from us oh offering God. you one. Because, like, oh. have you ever um, eaten just straight up a chicken bouillon cube? No. Because if you haven't, that is an experience. Is that a good donation goal? Is that like you're a not, no? You're not supposed to eat them. <laughs> you oh, can eat anything. You're not, you're not supposed Listen, to eat them. It's a ridiculous good? statement. Anything can be consumed. But anyway, <laughs> um, Stephen used to lick chicken bullion cubes in college. Listen, oh, you, you licked them, but you didn't like. You know, I mean, you. you, for you it. It's like a. It's like a tootsie pop. You don't bite it. You're not a monster. You gotta Ooh, lick your way into the middle. <laughs> you're not an owl. Yeah, uh, none of us are owls. So you as, far as, you, as far as you know. <laughs> <laughs> On the internet, no one knows you're an owl. Who? P shut up. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Let's just get the air horn out. Hang on, I got one right here. Let me, let me go ahead and pull that out again. <laughs> oh, shit, you're all waiting. Oh. Sorry, I didn't think you were going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, I, I thought the reason why it was so quiet is because the, the noise filter on Discord picked, uh, like, filtered it out. No, I th you were just all being quiet while I literally pulled my phone out of my pocket so I could get the air horn. <laughs> uh, we're, we're, we're not, not respectful. Thank you for being respectful of my air horn tendencies. I freaking hey love Siri, that crap. where to buy Salt Lick? <laughs> you just activated everybody who's listening to this over speakers. Oh, oh, I, uh, uh, never mind. There we go. <laughs> Saved it. You, you, there didn't, we go. You, you didn't say, hey, digital friend, buy Salt Lick, though. You just asked where to buy them. Yeah. Dude, like, oh, my God. So me and Erica actually have, like, insert uh, digital helper here. And whenever, like, there there are some streamers that we watch who are really trolly, and they freaking do that crap, man. And, like, and it picks up, and it's so annoying. <laughs> We're like, no, 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 stop. <laughs> just over and over again. See, that's when you troll people and just start saying, like, listen to this album I really like. Hey, hey, blank, just start yeah. playing this album. Yeah, my, uh, oh, oh, go ahead. My Google Home <clears throat> will, I don't know what it's picking up, but sometimes I'll just be doing something, any old thing, not even really making that much noise. I'm not even like watching TV or anything, and I'll just hear, "Sorry, I didn't get that." <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, and I hate when that happens because one, I become very in, intensely aware of it being listening, um, <laughs> even if it is processed only on device and it's only sent to the internet once it hears the wake phrase. Uh, I, I just 
Yeah, Roy. I get scared. I get scared when when AI starts telling me that it didn't understand what I said. Well, I mean, I so you know, you can anything. request all a uh, list of all the recordings, like say that Amazon yeah. has done, so you can like hear, and I think you can get them removed as a result of that. Yeah, yeah. Like I was so I was so against it for a long time, and then I kind of just realized oh, they're already like listening through my cell phone. So what does it freaking matter? <laughs> Oh, it's one of my favorite hobbies is whenever somebody's like talking, you know, and, and, and with, with, with the caveat right now, this entire discussion of we're not getting into politics, but if I'm ever having a discussion about politics with friends or something, my favorite thing to do is at the end of the conversation to pick up my phone and say, and I love the government and it sure is wonderful to be here. <laughs> I'll praise uh, the United States. Dude, and then I, I do and that. Then I set down my phone just to just, you know, I'm covering my bases just to make sure, you know, <laughs> bro, that's, literally that's like I, giving, that's like giving a Roomba a knife to set yourself up for the robot apocalypse. <laughs> dude, I do that in my freaking car because my car has one of those little SOS buttons. It's like a Lexus. So it like <laughs> has one of those buttons. So whenever I'm like, blah, 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 blah. I thank you, guy who's listening. You know, like like that's what I'll do. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're having a great Monday. You know, like that type of deal. Have uh, ever mentioned how glad I am to live in a completely different country than you guys? <laughs> 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 yeah, it's like, hey, hey, digital friend, send message to NSA agent watching me. <laughs> and man, Justin Trudeau, he sure is Canadian as well. <laughs> he I, sure does he exist. Sure, <laughs> he sure is. And, and, and I have no qualms with Canada. All right. There we go. Cover, we cover are all good. Statue. Good. Now, the Canadian agent listening in can also calm down now. <laughs> <laughs> what the frick? <laughs> it's just like, I'm just going to check my email here after this podcast. And good news, guys. I'm on a list. <laughs> <laughs> you know how many uh, lists I'm on right now? That's why I unsubscribe uh, from them whenever their spam comes through. <laughs> <laughs> See what I did? Because email list. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> email <laughs> email Store. one time i was on the podcast Games. when i was young younger and i got really scared when i was on the podcast because i didn't know really what to do and they were playing a lot of sound effects they were playing like way too many sound effects for me to be like to deal with it like so i was like very socially awkward and younger like look like what i had been like, been like maybe 18 and so uh Whenever I got tired with the subject, I just said, "All right, next topic." And I, I, I looked back on that, and I'm like, "Man, I, I sure am glad I'm not that person anymore." <laughs> I mean, All right, anyways, next that. topic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, like, it's actually accepted, sometimes welcomed. <laughs> Everyone's this like, "No, we really or... needed, we needed something else." <laughs> yeah, the, the tangents we get off on sometimes, man. I, I freaking, I love the chaos though. It's great. We don't know what the frick we're going to talk about. Speaking of speaking of chaos, uh, <laughs> somebody uh, somebody animated one like or made an animatic of like one of the the discussions we had about Stephen pronouncing thermodynamics. Dude, oh, that was so wonderful, so good, it's extremely good. Yeah, extremely like, good. Y'all should go like like if we could pop a link to that somewhere in in chat. Y'all should go watch that because it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. It's like, uh, it it, it kind of like reimagines uh the like Stephen pronouncing thermodynamics as like a spell, and like the whole thing is like is like themed around like witches and magicians. It's really good. Constantly yeah. starting fires. Constantly. Yep. Oh man, that was so good. I love the I like <laughs> so many like good bits in that. Like uh, Jared like messing with the potion and then it ending up like on like the edge of the cauldron. I just pick it up and drink it. Yeah, like I'm, I'm like I, I drop the potion at one point, and then I freak, I just start like laughing uncontrollably, and then you scream at me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, supposed we, to be a judge-free yeah. zone, Jared. Like, yeah, because yeah, like because I was um because we were just telling Steven to say thermodynamics. <laughs> And, I just and then, like, he, try, he tries it, like, hilarious. once, and then you just bust out laughing, and then I'm like, well, this is going to be a judge-free zone, Jared. Listen, he knows he knows I love him. Like... <laughs> I, I believe very fervently that everyone here loves me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I didn't expect that laugh, though. The <laughs> laughing and the silence from everyone else is very damning, I feel. Good job, well, everyone. Well, here's the thing. Don't in, worry, Steven. In, in, in this, I'll in, find in, out in right the, now. In the chat, twenty. In the <laughs> in the chat room of this podcast, yes. But like the way you said it, made me think that's like 
when he said like everybody here, like everybody like who's like watching, maybe like somebody who stopped and who doesn't even know who you are. <laughs> Bad news, Steven. I, I rolled a six uh, and I only oh, have no. plus two to love. So it's okay. You, you're an acquaintance. <laughs> we'll, 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 try, you know, we'll, we'll try again next session. <laughs> that's fair i'm 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 okay with this arrangement oh man rolling uh rolling rolling for stats in D D can produce some of the most chaotic results oh hey i rolled four ones guess guess intelligence is gonna be my dump stat at a minus <laughs> three oh I, I'm, I'm doing a D D campaign right now uh it's, it's a pokemon D D campaign with uh with my husband and a few friends and my, my character is a like professor in training. Um, so so like like one day he's gonna become a Pokemon professor. And uh, naturally, I made him be very. Int he, he's he's kind of like a surfer dude. He's like from uh, the one uh, water town in Johto. But but like, he's a surfer dude. But he like he wants to be a Pokemon professor. So he's supposed to be intelligent. The roles do not indicate that. Every freaking time I'm like, it's like okay, well we need to solve this. We need to use this computer or. We need to solve this problem. It's like, okay, well, let's send in the professor. And I dang do intelligence rolls, and I and I just I've just become a buffoon, and it's it's ruined my character. I don't know what to do at this point. That I've, I've become I've become the the, the, the the what's it called the uh, punchline the, the comic relief. I'm the comic relief character now. <laughs> like the the first thing I did was like, oh, I'm gonna jump into this pool of water so I can go and retrieve that that mystical object. The first thing I did is like like tripped in and almost drowned, and I was like, "Cool, well, that that's my that, that's how my character is established from here in the future." I have so much trouble wrapping my head around a Pokemon D and D campaign because my first thought is, "Do you have a sword?" <laughs> no. Yeah, you just have, have the have sword. A, Pokemon. I have a War Turtle. <laughs> you don't have a sword. Psyduck has a sword. Yeah. You <laughs> oh have no my danger God. like giving Psyduck actually, a sword, dude. That's like actually a Tom. Pokemon I, I, have, I have a crowbar. I have a crowbar, Tom. I found a crowbar. I haven't been able to use it, but I have been considering like thwacking a, a rocket recently. Uh, oh my but God, my party has has advised me to, against thwacking Team Rocket grunts <laughs> with my crowbar. Why not? You can just skip over the whole battle. Right? Come, sneak up behind I, them, wait them with the crowbar. <laughs> you you got it. You're, you're doing Let's great. Go, and I've just been thinking the whole time how much easier the game would be if you had a gun. <laughs> and I don't, I don't think I'm gonna get one. You know, I know that they updated it, but no, I don't, I don't think that's it. in the DLC. Sorry, Steven. Uh, that's unfortunate. God, <laughs> that, that, seems, that to me that seems like uh, taking like the Pixelmon mod in Minecraft and then just like adding all of the other mods that like add guns to the game. I feel like Team Rocket would be an actual threat though, because they would all <laughs> be carrying guns too. You know that. Oh yeah. They keep giving us snakes and smoke bombs. I just brought like an AK-47. I just wanted to make my life easier. And now I you lead the, the team. There's guns in the Pokemon anime. It's kind of bizarre that Team Rocket has never once considered, maybe we should just have firearms. No, they got Ekans. Yeah, that's going to do it. You can rob your bank with <laughs> Ekans. In, uh... You pulled Ekans like a gun. <laughs> in... <laughs> oh, God, that's a too good of an art opportunity. It's just Ekans as a gun. <laughs> Come in, out uh, with the money. <laughs> Again, give me the money. Uh, in uh, in uh, Pokemon Arceus, you know, you get uh, launched through space and time to a uh, to a, uh, a, a a land long forgotten. So there could be a chance that one of these space time distortions uh, could drop off a gun into the Pokemon world. I mean, you just never know what's coming next. It also took Pokemon me Pokemon Company. It also took me a long time to remember the phrase space time distortion because when they would pop up in the game, I would refer to them as an acronym. Yeah, I could see STD, yeah. Yep. <laughs> see, I'm waiting for them to take the, the Pokemon storyline in like the Advance Wars Day of Ruin direction where like Advance Wars and Famicom Wars, despite it being about wars, all like super cheery and happy. And then Day of yeah. Ruin's like, man, everything sucks. Everyone's dead. We have to save what's left of the world. So I want a post-apocalyptic Pokemon is what I'm saying. Why did we think <laughs> that going to war was just a fun idea? I mean, uh, Andy's uh, theme plays. Post-apocalyptic worked for Kirby, you know, so I would actually love it if they tried something weird. 
But I hope that they do that for all of the the cheery Nintendo series. I want to see like dark gritty Mario. I've wanted to see all that stuff. For Isn't years, that so no? That's that a part it. of Odyssey where you fight that giant dragon. No, yeah, yeah, it becomes Dark Souls. That yeah. was super. Like that was so jarring to me because and it was awesome. I'm not gonna say it wasn't, but it was like whoa, this is a slight bit out of place. Like, what the frick is this? You know? <laughs> I just like to imagine, like, what's going through that dragon's head. You who have dared approach me here, <laughs> what say... <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Where did you come from? Oh, God. Hmm. So anyway, what I'm trying good. to say is that Karaoke is a lot of fun, and as soon as you get a chance to do it, I really recommend that you do it. And that's that's been my uh, presentation. Thank you all. Thank you for coming to this TED Talk Symposium. Man, we got, we got a little probably, off topic, but yeah, we've learned about karaoke. Was a little a bit lot. in the middle. I mean, this is the karaoke podcast where we discuss yep. karaoke experiences. Karaoke and karaoke products. Um, have you have you guys checked out the new PH forty eight the uh the, that system man I, I gotta tell you the microphones it comes with they're 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 a little bit shoddy but the 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 low ones sound amazing out of the speakers was that knowledge off the top of your head or did you Google that I made it up all of it <laughs> <laughs> it's called improv Tom <laughs> the reason. <laughs> My my room when I was uh, living with my roommate, his parents sent him a karaoke machine, and we never used it. <laughs> he was like, "Oh, this will be great. We have friends over." We never had friends over. Ooh. We'd always go to someone else's house. Oh my That's goodness! A sad <laughs> story. <laughs> That's not sad. We had friends. We just never hosted. And that was Tom's well, that worst karaoke experience. <laughs> the, 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 that terrible the fact that we got the, the machine and never used it yep karaoke machine never used <laughs> not quite like the baby shoes but no the baby shoes oh my god <laughs> <laughs> someone went ham on the liquify tool in the disc only podcast logo just g <laughs> just g <laughs> The Gygus podcast. I like how out of all of us, Steven is the one who's the least messed up with that tool. Like John, John and I, John and I. John We've and I seen like some we're, things, Tom. We've we're being seen made some into, things. John and I are being made into tie dye. That's what's happened there. You cannot grasp the true form of disc only. <laughs> disc. Gee! <laughs> oh my lord! All right, I think I'm getting the we should wrap up sign. the The lights turning on. There's your uh, you, there's your snake gun, by the way. Thank God. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Abra! <laughs> Thanks, Abra. <laughs> <laughs> Another Pokemon. All right. Oh yeah, Abra's. By, by the way, Abra's in my in my session of of D and D. So. So what you're saying is that is definitely happening next session. Oh. And boy. what you're saying is that Abra's going to be your accomplice when you go to waylay the uh, the the Team Rocket grunt with the crowbar, right? I sure hope so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's talk about the talking points for this episode of Disc Only. Talking points: detached heads, absurd origins. Grandmama just killed a man. <laughs> Karaoke crimes. Mouthful mode, Marshall Mathers. Solar review. Loose cannons. Bloat your bulge. <laughs> nah, I'm good. <laughs> <clears throat> Creeping on Canadian candy. Bowser husband. Me. Three more than 12. Tropicana direct. Lick a salt. Big Alexa is watching. And give Team Rocket rockets. The Rockettes. <laughs> All right. I like that one. MC, as our guest, would you like to go first and cover what you got going on? In 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 what? In life <laughs> well, in general, life, whatever you're up to. What you got going on, MC? Uh, we recently announced the next Zelda Fawn event is happening uh, August second benefiting direct relief a wonderful charity op organization that has 
nothing to do with some of the topics discussed tonight. Great logo um, too. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and uh, it's going to be a wonderful time. We're going to be, it's a Majora's Mask themed marathon, but we're going to still play all the Zelda games. Uh, we're going to be at Momocon as well, doing a, a show there called Peace of Heart. Uh, and in life, I am playing Mario 64 Randomizer on my stream because I like wh when the stars aren't where they're supposed to be. I think it's funny. All right. In that case, Tom, what you got going on? Uh, May is the month, at least according to the artist I commissioned, that my VTuber model is being made. Um, so by the end of the month, I might have that. Uh, aside from that, though, I'm doing a Let's Play of Bowser's Fury. Uh, I think we're pretty close to being done. Uh, I've got nine episodes recorded. I already have eight, uh, 81 of the, uh, the cat shines. It's not that long, yeah. Yeah. So we'll probably be moving on to the next Let's Play, uh, sometime this month. Uh, in terms of that time slot, anyway. And then I'm still, still cracking away at Oblivion. In terms of progress, we are almost done with the Shivering Isles. Um, Krug is almost done with his journey of self-discovery in the Shivering Isles, and he'll be returning to Cyrodiil very soon, uh, to probably take on the arena and possibly cure his vampirism. Uh, in terms of streams, today I did the first part of Xenoblade Chronicles Future Connected with a meal. Um, probably gonna be playing most of that game, uh, on Malone Summit and then trying to get him back for, like, the finale of it. In terms of, like, other things I got going on, I, uh, can't think... Oh, much. I got, uh, oh, I did set up a uh, VR streaming. I tried Hitman VR. That game was not made for VR. I nearly barfed. We'll try a different VR game later, like actually tomorrow with John. Yeah. And we're, me. And Dan has one play, word. We're going to play some mini golf. And Popsky. And Popsky. Still can't get over that. Still can't get over the disc only logo going away <laughs> to just say Dan. <laughs> Dan. Dan. <laughs> Steven, what do you got going on? Dan. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, I did just release a big old video on Steven Plays, and it talks about some of the changes that we're making to the channel, which, you know, some folks that watch the channel will probably be interested in, but then also folks that don't normally watch the channel might be interested in because I talk about some of the behind-the-scenes stuff of how YouTube works, and it might just be really interesting to folks, so check that out if you've got the time. Otherwise, uh, on Friday, Mal and I are, I'm thinking, maybe gonna finish Kirby? I don't know exactly how long it is, and I keep hearing about this endgame part, so maybe it's a little longer than I think, but, like, we're right at the what looks to be the end, so probably another stream or so of stuff. That's it. Can I can I interrupt to add one more thing onto what I'm doing because I was told by my chat that I should. Sure. Uh, I mentioned it during Coliseum that uh, I had a Paper Mario Thousand Year Door Let's Play that I began in 2018. That uh, due to varying circumstances and lack of motivation, that I completely abandoned. Leading, by the way, to Emil asking me some very interesting questions that can also be found in the out of context yep. clip. Um, uh, but I actually had some nice conversations with Emil during Coliseum off screen and I kind of got motivated. So I, I actually recorded my, the rest of the entire thousand year door let's play. I recorded like over 30 episodes of it in a month and it's actually all coming out on my YouTube now. So after four years, it, it, it will come to a conclusion over the next couple months. And, uh, it made me really happy to get back to my let's playing roots. And what's that YouTube MC? Uh, Super MC gamer. Same same thing as usual. Dan. Yeah. Jared. Uh, drumming and possibly <laughs> Guilty Gear. <laughs> uh, Monday, Tuesday, Friday, Saturday as normal. Um, been trying to fix my AC unit in my, uh, in my garage area. So uh, I should be nice and cool on Friday, which is going to be wonderful. Also, yes. uh, if anybody is uh, going to Momocon, I will be there and I will actually be uh, <laughs> participating in a Guilty Gear Strive tournament while I'm there. Uh, so I would, I, yeah, I need all the, <laughs> all the, the background help I can get. Um, but yeah, other than that, I mean, uh, I don't think there's anything else going on. No, that's basically it. Nice. 
All right, for me, uh, obviously tomorrow I'm streaming some VR with Motion Dan, Tom Fox, Popsky, and myself. We're going to play some walkabout mini golf. Uh, this Saturday officially marks the beginning of the Xenoblade Chronicles playthrough bonus stream incentive from Coliseum. So Chuck O'Connor will be joining me on Saturday for the first part, and then he'll pop in and out whenever he feels like it after that. But I have to beat the entire first game, Xenoblade Chronicles 1, before next year's Coliseum. Otherwise, I have to do a punishment cosplay as a character from the series. Uh, Monday, we are starting Ape Escape for game clearing. That is uh, what our second place in our March Madness bracket for predictions picked. That was Keon's choice. Uh, and then uh, that's really about it. It's just the same old schedule for me for the next little bit. I'm also currently playing through Banjo Tooie with my lovely wife Lucajin over on her YouTube channel. So we uh, are currently in Glitter Gulch Mine, I do believe. Love the music in that place. I do have one more thing to say about what I got going on. Coming up in the Oblivion Let's Play is probably the most miserable quest I've ever had to do that took six hours to make a half-hour video of, so you better freaking watch that. <laughs> For the love of God, make sure my time isn't wasted. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, episode 32 coming out soon. 132? Okay. All right, Dan, what about you, my dude? Um, yeah, just uh, typical streams, as always. Twitch.tv slash motion, Dan. Uh... Again, for the third time now, uh, mini golf. Yeah, that's about it. All right. Are we doing our normal episode on the 7th of June? I don't think anyone said if they're not going to be around for that because Jared should be back by Momocon by then. Yeah, I should be around. Sure hopes so. Momocon ends the 30th. <laughs> what if it never ends, MC? You're gonna take an extended, uh, extended vacation in downtown Atlanta. Oh my God! Wait, 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 wait! Is is a uh, is Shatia coming with you? Yes. Mm -hmm. We're going to karaoke. Karaoke night! <laughs> oh heck yeah! You, me, and Dupree are finally happening yet again. Right. <laughs> let's wrap up uh, special thanks to Popsky for our theme song Prism Shard for our logo Paper Pennies for the beautiful art in our intro and of course our producer is Motion Dan see you guys next month 7th of June the first Tuesday of June for the next episode bye everybody okay so they, they can't hear us now right Doug? this is never going to stop being a thing is it <laughs> Never. So, God, well, I have a question. Do you know the Tooth Fairy? <laughs> like, uh, are you a good? Somewhat. Uh, What's your relation say? with Santa Claus? Because I hear it's pretty tumultuous around that that time of year. Uh, we we were a thing, uh, but Miss <laughs> Claus was on break. Wow. But, you know. <laughs> She's back. You heard it here first, folks. Frick, yeah. Yeah, God and I... Santa are doing it. <laughs> that was kind of assumed, though, was it? Okay, good to know. Thank I think you. I think it sounds like he hooked they hooked up and then broke up after a while, right? <laughs> they were just doing playing it. the TMZ exclusive God and Santa. Wintertime is wild. <laughs>